So in this video, we're going to be going over how we can install PyCharm and Python because we are going to be needing both of these to actually work with it. And PyCharm is just a code editor. With Python, you can actually edit it in any text editor and you can run it later, but I found it most simple to use PyCharm for all my projects. It is developed by a company called IntelliJ and they have a lot of helpful features which will help simplify our code creation. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google and as you can see, all I did is type in PyCharm, but of course I will leave the links in the description down below. I believe there's a resource section, so you can just click on those if you want. But all we have to do is go ahead and click on download PyCharm. And when you arrive to this page, we're going to have actually two versions. One's going to be the professional version and one's going to be the community. We're going to go ahead and download the community edition because that's completely free. And of course, if you have a Windows, go to the Windows section. If you have Linux, you can just click on the Linux. But since I'm on Mac, I will click on download here. And it's going to say, here's your download. So go ahead and install that. And the second thing we have to install is Python itself. So all I did is type in Python. You can also type in python.org. And when we click on it, you're going to notice there's going to be a download section. So click on the download section. And we're going to download the latest version, which is 3.9.6. But if you scroll down, they also have a section for older releases. And it's important to note that you might actually need one of these older releases because there are some examples of packages or snippets of code out there that only work with older Python programs because they've not been updated yet. So it's always good to know that you can install older versions of Python. And up here you get a section that says active Python releases. And what's really important to note is the end of the support date because after this day, 3.7 will not be maintained, 3.8 will not be maintained anymore, and also 3.9 will finish being maintained in 2025. So that's all useful information, but go ahead and download the latest version of Python, which is 3.9.6, and right after you're done installing that, we're going to go ahead and open up PyCharm. So the first time you open PyCharm, it should end up looking like this, and the first thing we want to do is create a new project, and here I'm going to go ahead and give it a project name, so we can just call it first project Udemy, and you want to go ahead and click on a new environment. It's going to give you this option here. And the next thing you have to do is go ahead and find your base interpreter, which is the Python program itself, the one that you have downloaded. And I actually have both 3.8 and 3.9 because for machine learning, there were some pieces of code that I had to use 3.8 for, but 3.9 will work for a majority of programs. So go ahead and find your base interpreter and click on create project. So as soon as PyCharm creates your first project, you should end up with an empty template such as this one. What you want to note is that we have a folder here with our virtual environment and that's needed to run the code. So what we're gonna do is right click on this folder and we're going to go ahead and create a new Python file. We're just gonna call it main.py and inside here we can finally get started with writing some code. Now just for this example to make sure that everything's running correctly, go ahead and type in print, add some quotation marks and you can type in hello world or whatever text you want. Then we're going to go ahead and right click on the main.py and click on run. And inside the console, you should see that it prints to the computer, hello world. And you can print this maybe three more times. And then when you go ahead and rerun the program, you're going to notice it's going to say hello world four times because that's what we told the computer to do. And that should take care of making sure that everything's running correctly. 